Hello everyone, this is Wayne Johnson from Passion for Life Gallery. Today I'm in my workshop and uh, I'm going to take you through the process of building a canvas stretcher. Now I have in my hands a canvas stretcher which I built recently and um, I'm just going to show you what I built them out of and how a process I went through to do that. So what I have here is I have some pine, about one and a half by one and a half. It's squared on two sides. I have to uh, cut it to dimension yet with a table saw. And in order to build these, we're actually going to cut a bevel on them. Um, I don't know if you can see on the back of this or not, right there with the cameras, but there's a gap there. And the reason there's a gap there is there's a small bevel. Now you may have seen other canvas stretchers that you may buy at an art su supply store. Now I have a very inexpensive thin one here. Um, but you'll notice, I don't know if you can see, hopefully in the camera, on the top surface there's a beveled edge. Or there's a, um, there's a small rise on the top edge of this canvas stretcher. Now the reason for that, of course, is that the canvas does not touch the stretcher except on the very edge. That's the idea. Now you can reproduce this using a router, some special molding tool, uh, cutters, etc. But what I'm going to show to you is a much simpler way. So the idea here is to cut these two by twos on a bevel. So once I have them completely square to the right dimension on the table saw, I'm going to cut them on a bevel. And what that bevel, the bevel is about 15, 20 degrees. It's not critical. You can have it a lot steeper, but you don't want it much shallower than that. The idea is that once you cut that wood away, the canvas will only touch on the very edge of the stretcher. So it's something that you can do in your own workshop. Now the first process step is I have to cut these on the table saw to the dim correct dimension uh, so that they're square and then I'm going to cut them at the right bevel. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've cut a bevel on all four pieces. I'm hoping that you can see in the camera that there is about a 15, 20 degree bevel on each side. So that bevel is going to prevent the canvas clearly from touching the stretcher except in that one location. Now the next process is to cut 45 degree miters. I'm going to cut these at approximately 50 centimeters, about 20 inches by 40 centimeters, more or less 16 inches. So I'll show you how I do that now. Okay, so I have here on my table saw a small jig that I made. Uh, it's for cutting miters. Two pieces of wood set up on a sled with an adjustable guide. The idea is that we cut the first bevel, flip it to the other side, cut the other one. So I'll show you how that works now.
Okay, so that was the two that were set to 50 millimeters, approximately 20 inches. And I just have to reset the fence on my jig to be able to uh, cut the shorter ones. Okay, so I've got my miters cut on all four corners and they're basically ready to be assembled. I think I'm going to do a little bit of light touch-up sanding just on some of the surfaces before I do that and then we will set up the camera and staple them together. Okay, now for the next step in this process, I'm using a small jig. It, uh, I can buy them here locally. It's just for holding the pieces square. Um, you can get them at most hardware stores in different shapes and sizes. Uh, but it holds the miter together square and I have some little support blocks to keep everything level. The main thing is is that you do a dry run before you put glue on to make sure everything is tight and square and you can just adjust that slightly. And then the next step is I have a brad nailer with two inch brad nails. I have some Elmer's glue and I'm going to glue this up. So I'm just going to put two or three uh, brad nails in each corner. Two is a minimum just to hold it together while the glue sets. Okay, so let's start doing it. Now on this last one I have to do both at the same time, uh, not exactly the same time, but square up one edge, put blue, glue on both of them and then I will square up the last one in the jig. Okay, so I have the frame glued up and nailed together. Just checking my miters. Very good. Um, the last thing I have to do is this surface here where the canvas stretches over and on the back side where the canvas stretches over and on the corners I just need to round that a little bit just so that it does not tear the canvas. This is fairly uh, cute or sharp edge at this moment. And so I'm going to do that and just touch it up, up, up a bit and then it will be ready to put the canvas on.
So we'll talk to you in a bit.